are you guys? It's so good to see so you. How is good. everything? Good. Yes, yeah, very good. you too. Mucho gusto. Me llamo Simón como Simón Bolívar de Venezuela, Caracas. Yo me llamo Cristian. Me encanta. <laughs> Cristian. Sí, Cristian. Simón como mi padre. By the way, guys, I, I love the movie. It's so intense. It's so thrilling. And I think I'm still like dealing with my adrenaline levels, by the yes. way. Yes. So blink twice. Yeah, it is one of those movies. You watch it like this. You know, be it like, if literally, you're a man or a woman. I was like that. I mean, when Naomi and you were going, if you're a human, yeah. you're watching it like, ah! Because ah. it has everything like suspense and drama and romance, even comedy. How did you maintain that tension, Christian, throughout the movie? By the way, you are phenomenal and I love you. I needed to tell you that. Really? Is this, she's talking to me? Yeah, she loves oh you. Oh Thanks you. so much. Uh, mucho gusto. <laughs> you're very welcome. Uh, muy calor. I don't know. What is it? More Spanish? <laughs> How'd you keep uh, the tension? What's the, the corazón? Mi corazón! That's hard. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. Exactly. Claro, mi corazón. Uh, keeping the tension. Yeah. You know, it was a little bit difficult because we loved all, we loved each other so much. I mean, this was, we were all shooting in the same location for two, two and a half months. We lived in this beautiful uh, resort, very rustic, very haunted. But, you know, we'd have breakfast, lunches, and dinners together. So we really did bond and become a family. But we knew that there were going to be moments that we had to uh, participate in in order to tell and service the story and give Zoe what she wanted that were gonna be very emotionally difficult to perform. Zoe created a very safe environment for us, a very loving space, and we talked about things. We all made sure that we were communicating and on the same page before we had to go in and do some of this difficult stuff. Oh yeah, how did you prepare for this emotional roller coaster that you experienced on this private island, basically? I think the prep was mainly working with the cast, like, and it was a very easy job to find chemistry with everybody, to find these little moments to make it feel authentic and actually seem like people who are partying and having a good time, some who know each other well and some who don't, you know, it's like me and Frida are, are good friends and that was easy to play with Naomi because she's such an amazing actress and now a good friend of mine. God. Um, but I really think as an actor, I mainly I'm like, how do I make these relationships seem real? And again, that was pretty easy because we were together all the time. And so we were creating that vibe pretty quickly with Zoe at the helm. Simon, if you could switch roles with any other character in the movie, who would it be and why? Um, well, I guess I'd probably hey, switch Robin. roles with Channing Tatum. Oh, okay. um, <laughs> because I could be the lead of the movie and then I'd make a... Well, actually, I don't know if I'd have made more. I think we all made about the same. But, <laughs> yeah, I, guess it's true. but I feel like then I'd be on the poster. And then oh, I would yeah, have... Yeah, yeah. Um, well, look, um, I see your name. My name is there. Your name no. is right there. Well, I think I, I just... I'd be Channing's character because then I'd have to use my brain and memorize more lines and I like a good challenge. Oh, yes. Yes, that is And true. what about if you were like billionaires like Channing? in the movie, what extravagant party would she throw? Ooh, what wow. extravagant I, party? Oh, I would rent out uh, Hearst Castle. It wouldn't be like you imagine. I would have a fun party mm -hmm. and have a lot of, of good food, daytime food, mm -hmm. hors d'oeuvres. Very peaceful. Everyone could get along. Charcuterie and music. Charcuterie. Char yeah, charcuterie. Charcuterie. Nice spread. Yeah, yeah. Nice. nice spread. Salami, cheeses. And if you could invite any historical figure to this private island, who would it be? And what would you talk about over cocktails and drinks as you did in the movie? Ooh, wow, okay. Um, I would have Shakespeare come and get oh, some ideas. Great. So, like, Not that at all. What about you, Lee and Christian? Um, maybe Gloria Steinem, you know, oh. just have her show up That's and good one. put us all in our place early on and maybe save us. I love Gloria Stefan. She's still alive. She's doing well. Gloria Stefan. You're you're into the Spanish vibe, Simon. Como? My Spanish? Sí, Bolívar, Gloria sí, Stefan. Sí, claro. You're yeah, into yeah, the I, Spanish I, vibe. I love Argentina. I just shot a movie there called Magic Farm, but we're not here to talk about that. Oh. Exciting. <laughs> I'm going to go, I don't know, I was thinking about Charlie Chaplin. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about. That was Charlie Chaplin. One, yeah. Whoa. He'd be a fun one to have. You know, because I love The Make Great Dictator. Films. Yeah. And the speech there at the Beautiful. end is so incredible. It's always been like a speech. And it is about power. And then it's wrong. about power gone yeah. wrong. But then at the end, it's about the right the guy saying the right things that you want to hear. Totally. And I just love that so much. I love the movie. I really enjoy uh, it. And I can't wait the world to watch it. Like two days ago, I was at the movies. I was like this, like yeah, totally yes. thrilled about it. Yeah, we what like you that. go to the movies for, for sure. Yes. That's right. Thank you, guys. It was lovely talking with you today, and thank you for this time. Thank, thank you. you. Mucho gusto. Hasta mañana.